with Green Tech Station, it's kind of like a hidden treasure within the inner city. Um, because I don't think nothing has been built like this. Definitely this project has been awesome. I think um, meeting all these collaborative groups here at the Green Touch Station and seeing all the green infrastructure projects happening here has been really inspiring um, and exciting to me. This has further made me interested in this work and it makes me want to create sites similar to this in the future and work with green infrastructure. So we're just working with like different artists to put some murals, working with the artworks kids to do like a decorative mosaic, you know, something that's colorful and that's eye-catching to make people want to come here to learn about the native plants in the gardens. We started to think of our task as one of placemaking, creative and environmental placemaking. We did a few cleanups of, uh, of Lincoln Creek, actually, which is featured um, in our mosaic, if you noticed. Um, in the word green, there's like a little kind of narrow ribbon of, of blue. And that is kind of Lincoln Creek and it flows into the Milwaukee River and gets bigger and becomes like Michigan. One of the things that we did is we uh, came up with um, and uh, implemented these benches here at Green Tech Station. Um, and so our theme we ended up going with was water. I really love to yeah. just express um, myself through art. And I love painting and just like a lot of different art forms. And about, I also care a lot about the environment. And this is an area of the city. Um, that actually used to have, there are a lot of streams and tributaries and wetlands that have been that were covered over historically um, as we developed the city. And so you already have that pressure of the water remembering where it went. Um, and, um, and, but you know, we've developed our city on top of that. So we have that challenge of getting the water to, you know, trying to get it back to Lincoln Creek to places where it can go instead of into people's basements and business owners' basements and our streets. We were kind of like a big manufacturing hub right here on the north side. And when A.O. Smith and Alice Chalmers left, a lot of the community left with it. And it kind of left the city a little bit desolate on this side of town. It's an opportunity that's open for the public, whether it be schools, it be churches, or just residents to come and learn about the environment, learn about the native plants, learn about bioswales and how, if it rains, how the native plants and the bioswales work together to collect that extra storm water when it rains heavily. And so instead of the water flooding the streets and residential properties, we have this beautiful space that actually helps to soak up some of that storm water.